Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and I'm joined by J.R. Bookwalter, the uh, director, writer, editor, composer, author. You're just like a jack of all trades. The man behind Makeflix. J.R., welcome to Serial at Midnight. Thank you, sir. I'm happy to be here. I'm a jack of something, that's for sure. <laughs> so I've, been, I've been talking about Makeflix for a while now. I've got the little, I've got the stack of goodies here. This is my Makeflix collection. I've got my, I don't, is this visible? I've got the robot yeah, Ninja poster nice, over yeah. my you're shoulder. Flying your colors there. That's right. The, uh, <laughs> in, in my opinion, you are just uh, kind of a master of, of the, this independent movie scene. I love the way you're doing it. I love the way you've, you know, for 30 something years, you've been doing this and uh, Makeflix is now kind of, you tell me, what is Makeflix? Tell us what Makeflix is. Well, the funny thing is, it, when it started, I bought the domain name like uh, when I was still living in L.A. back in the early 2000s. And my plan was to, to sort of make it a filmmaking magazine, like the old Cinemagic, like Don Dollar's old Cinemagic. Yeah. That was my goal. And then that, I realized that there was just no, you know, the magazine industry had just bottomed out even at that point. I mean, it's even worse now. So I just kept paying for the domain name every year thinking, well, I'll do something with it. I'll do something with it. And then I kind of killed my Tempe online store a couple of years ago. And then I, I was kind of stuck at the point where I had not released the Robot Ninja Ultimate Edition yet. And that originally it was, I was pre-ordering it through there. Anyways, long story short, I said, well, maybe I'll just, this is still a good name for a store. I'll just call it makeflix.com. It'll be the new store. You know, I'll fulfill the orders through there. So we, I was able to sort of successfully transition from being the Tempe online, even though there was some confusion as to Tempe's gone, no way, Tempe's back. You know, it was, there was a moment of confusion there, but I think now it was successful enough. But basically my grand vision of it was uh, sort of a hub where filmmakers can sell their stuff, not just me. Um, that's been slow it coming, but it's it's getting there. It, Cause it's, I, I, I use a case in point is, is Fred Olin Ray at Retro Media. He's been selling pretty much exclusively to Amazon, and he recently got in a situation where Amazon was like losing his discs and not, you know, not getting the stuff up as fast as he wanted it to. So I kind of came in and said, "Hey, you know, I've kind of set this thing up for this kind of stuff, like to solve this problem. Like, you don't want to take these orders and fulfill them. Let me do it. You know, this is what I'm set up to do." So that's kind of what it is. It's kind of like, it, eventually, I think the floodgates will open and there'll be a lot more stuff from a lot more diverse, uh, uh, you know, uh, batch of filmmakers, you know, from all, all different genres. I wanted something that wasn't, Tempe was largely known for horror. I wanted something that was sort of a little more generic where we could sell anything, even though that wasn't exclusively what Tempe sold in the past, but that was kind of, you know, Tempe equaled horror, basically, where Makeflix is just independent, cinema in general people who are making flicks that's the short version of it there it is you know as you're, as you're talking it reminds me of like what the beatles did with apple core so you're kind of yeah. like the beatles you know yeah right but am i paul or am i john that's the question <laughs> remains to be it's seen. Like, or that's ringo. kind of like a ringo yeah. joke but that's not <laughs> staying away from it that's okay i made it myself but you've got some news because as we're recording this we're coming up on the black friday it's a holiday, the Black Friday event. <laughs> Shopping event, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, well, like and, everybody else in the world, you know, of course we're going to do the Black Friday thing as well, so. Yeah. yeah I've done I've done one, I did one last year on Makeflix, and I've done it, you know, even when I had the Tempe online store, we, we did something every year just to yeah. sort of stimulate sales and things like that. So, so it's going to be a great opportunity for people to jump, who, who may not be familiar, you know, and I did a Makeflix spotlight, and a lot of people... We're hearing about it from me for the first time. So it'd be a great opportunity for some new people to come in and say, oh, well, you just, you can grab, you know, start, start picking stuff up. But there's an announcement. You've got an announcement. What's, what's the big, uh, what's the big reveal for Black Friday? The big reveal is, uh, well, a new product. It'll be pre-ordering. It's shipping actually in mid-December because we're still putting the final touches on it. But essentially it is this little, this is just a inkjet mock-up. So uh, apologies for the, uh, DIY nature of it, but I guess it's sort of fitting for what it is. But this is no one would ever know. It looks really good. It's great. Yeah, it's, it, this is called the SOV six pack signature edition. Signature edition meaning you get this fancy box with my signature on the bottom here. If I can point it in the right direction. Uh, and basically, this is sort of the legendary cinema home video six pack that I uh, did in in the uh, early nineties, nineteen ninety one, nineteen ninety two, and it's bringing these movies back on Blu ray. 
Now, these movies were shot on Super VHS-C, so that may seem like a uh, uh, misnomer, maybe, or, a, you know, why would you release that? But we did it earlier this year with Ozone, to, and had a lot of tons of great reviews, great response. Um, the movie never looked better. So I kind of thought, well, maybe I'll go back and try the same thing with, with some of these movies. And although there's six movies, three of these have been completely restored from the original camera masters. Uh, one, Galaxy of the Dinosaurs, was already remastered uh, years ago when I did the Bad Movie Police series, but that's had additional restoration work. And the other two, Chick Boxer and uh, Human Rights from Atlantis, the camera masters were used to record ozone <laughs> years ago, so they don't exist anymore. But I was able to go and even do some restoration work on those two. And they've never, again, never looked better. It's amazing the technology, how it's changed since we've done that. So it's true because yeah, so I reviewed Ozone as well. And I was, it, it was really impressive to see. I mean, you, you think about like a, a video source, um, but it holds a lot of information. I mean, it, it looks real when done properly, it, it, it looks really good. And when you, you include, often you'll include like the original VHS. Uh, oh, yeah. When, where, where I can. Yeah, for sure. When you can compare side by side, you're like, holy yeah. cow, this is incredible. So yeah, I'm, I'm the thing is, I mean, these are not HD up conversions, which, you know, have a rightfully have a bad name because very few, I mean, short of probably the doctor who from the, the early two thousands, they, those upscales look about as good as you could ever get, but I've never seen a good upscale. The TV does a job, a good job of upscaling standard definition better than, you know, you can actually do it on your own. So the, we're not upscaling any of these. We're using the Blu-ray to, so that there's that much more space. So you get, tons of great content essentially yeah. so and one of the things that i love is you have so many actually you put so much attention to special features um well there's a lot of them yeah on all yeah. these discs i mean well, you here, don't necessarily have to go through everything but you yeah know. no i mean here's the this is the six discs that you're going to get basically and they they are all numbered in the order that they were made i'm going backwards here but sorry and um and yeah they're just i mean it's just one disc for each but they're loaded with stuff each one has had we've got some some old interviews you know that were done in the back in the early 90s we've got brand new interviews that were done now a couple of them have location tours um that stuff's all in hd you know that because it was shot and edited that way um the fun the really fun one humanoids from atlantis which is by far the 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 lemon of the bunch but this has actually got a live script reading we got got the original cast back together did a zoom call and read the original script because what happened when this was made probably 70% of the script would had to be thrown out because of weather. So the, that's why the movie is mercifully only 48 minutes. <laughs> but now you can actually see the original cast read this original script that, that was never produced for this thing. It's pretty fun, actually. I mean, it, it's goofy. Like who would ever do this kind of craziness with these kind of movies, but they all have um, stunning new artwork. This is uh, Alex Sarabia and his, uh, his gang in Mexico that have done slip covers for robot ninja and, and uh, skin alive and some other stuff. Um, and, but that's not all because they also, I know knowing how the uh, collectors are, you also get, if you turn them around, you have the original, oh, I'm getting some glare here, getting the original artwork on the other, on the flip side. So if you, if you remember the artwork, you know, when you rented first rented the VHS, you got that too. And you could all you have to do is flip it around and, and you're good. That's awesome. Should we tell people just maybe a little bit about what the shot on video films were? Like what, I mean, do you feel like getting into it or do you want? Oh, sure. No, I mean, because it's, 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 for a lot of people are not going to, not going right. to even know what these things are. Um, what it was is I had done my first uh, three features, Dead Next Door, Robot Ninja, Skinned Alive. And after that, I was sort of, I had moved to LA, was frustrated, moved back to Ohio, I was going to make sh shot on video movies. And uh, the David Dakota, another, a filmmaker himself and a producer, from cinema and video caught wind of this and said, well, why don't you make some of these for me, you know, and, and, you know, to make some quick money. And I said, okay. So he threw out two titles, Kingdom of the Vampire and Zombie Cop. And we basically made two movies on shot on super VHSC for $5,000. And they were, it was essentially what happened was the, um, we designed the artwork first, the, you know, the, the, the video box artwork and, um, so we didn't know who was going to be in them. We had, you know, we had a bare, just a bare scant synopsis of what the movie was about. And we had to write the script, cast it. And basically he was selling it to a company uh, called Rentrack that would 
get it into mom and pop stores. And they did a revenue sharing thing where he actually saw money back. Usually you just sell a tape to a store, end of transaction. With this, he was actually, not only was he getting a little bit of money up front, he was getting royal, essentially royalties from the video store every time it rented. So basically the, the first two were successful enough that we embarked on this two more times. And, when, and it was sort of the law of diminishing returns because the budgets went down, the quality went down. <laughs> but we did we wound up making six of these movies over the course of seven months. That's what, that's the long and short of it. And uh, the six movies were Kingdom of the Vampire, Zombie Cop, Chick Boxer, Maximum Impact, uh, Galaxy of the Dinosaurs, and Humanoids from Atlantis. And so you're basically like, you're covering horror, action, sci-fi, comedy, drama. They said you're pr pretty much covering all the key genres. Um, now, that said, these are not major Hollywood productions, of course. <laughs> And they're, you know, even after they've been restored, they, they're, you know, they're only going to, they look, they look great for what they are, but they're, you know, if you're expecting HD widescreen, all that kind of stuff that, you know, this, this is maybe not for you. <laughs> they're fun. Well, the I, mean, I referred to it many times as community theater on video. And that's essentially what it was because we literally had most of the people who were in these movies were community theater people from, you know, from the Akron, Ohio right. area. And, um, and, you know, most of the people had worked on the, the earlier movies that I had done. And the thing about it, we were, we went back and recorded new commentaries for all six movies with a lot of the original cast and crew. Everybody says the same thing about how much fun they had making these. Doesn't really matter. You know, the point wasn't for them. It wasn't, it, are they good movies? I mean, some of them are better than others, but they just had so much fun doing it. And still you're talking about what, uh, you know, 20 five years later, no, almost 30 years later, almost I guess, 30. right? I mean, they, you know, they still remember it fondly, the, mm -hmm. the, the fun that they had, they, you know, they have all these great stories that they told. So, you know, I mean, I, not that you want to buy somebody's home videos, but I think it was James L. Edwards, one of the actors who worked on most of these movies. He said, it's kind of like watching home videos of people you don't know. But I think it, he, he was making a joke out of it, but it's kind of true. But in some way, there, it's, it's a lot like a car wreck with some of these movies, especially things like Chick Boxer, which is just beyond, bizarre beyond belief. But because it's like, you're so like fascinated, you're like watching it, but you're like, I can't stop watching. <laughs> it's like, I want to see what, how this uh, unfolds. So well, with, it, with this kind of movie, there's always there with there are those that you feel outside of and that you don't feel invited into, but these you feel invited into. You feel well, like that's it. Part yeah, of the that's exactly right. That's exactly and, right. And now as, the, the thing about this too is it's not just collecting these six movies. You're gonna you get also there's a 24 page booklet, which is basically a, a guy named Ross Snyder, who's a huge fan and sort of historian of these movies, has written this incredible. I don't know, thousands of words. I don't even remember how many thousands of words, but um, it's basically the history of, of these movies and the whole, you know, shot on video movement, essentially. Yeah. So I mean, you get that in this box set as well. And there's plenty of pictures and stuff that there's also two soundtrack CDs in there. So you get, there's a, a whole track listing here. It's just packed. Like the, most of this music's never been released before. So it's, it's, a, you know, you get stuff like that too. So it's, it's, kind of keeps it all in context. It's not just throwing the movies on people. You get all the behind the scenes stuff. There's bloopers and outtakes that have never been seen before. Uh, commentary, you know, there's three commentary tracks on every movie. I mean, it's really, it's quite a loaded uh, set. It's it's wonderful. And for the for those of us who've been following this stuff, I mean, the, the stuff, the products you've been able to put out through Bakeflix, Robot Ninja, The Dead Next Door, um, even the documentary stuff like reflections on the living dead. And, uh, this feels like a cherry on top for, I mean, I never would have thought this was coming, you know? Well, I don't think anybody would have. No. <laughs> I think even the people that were working on the set with me think that I'm insane for doing it. But the point is I just wanted to, this is sort of like a last and final burial for these movies because there's nowhere else, to, you know, you can't, unless you yeah. can upscale in the 4k or something, you know, maybe 20 years from now, we'll be able to do that. But Hey, I hear 8k is coming. JR. Yeah, no, exactly. It's like, I don't know that these movies would benefit from that anyways, but yeah. I mean, if you have an affinity for this era of, you know, seeing this kind of stuff on the video store shelf or renting it or whatever, I mean, certainly these movies have, there's plenty of people who do enjoy them. And there's plenty of people who remember them and hate them. <laughs> so there's that too. But um, 
there's a lot of people in between that have, don't, have no idea what the stuff is. And, and, you know, we'll be curious just because of the presentation and the packaging and there's cool extras you get. Um, I'll show you here. There's some three, you get three mini posters essentially with the, the fancy new, swanky new artwork on it. And you flip them over and then you got the other side here. That's beautiful. Uh, so wall ready, you know. So. Did you think when you were, when you were making these some 30, almost 30 years ago, could you have ever imagined you'd be doing this right now? You'd be holding up posters with new artwork and. No, I mean, I, this is all very surreal for me because, you know, when I made these things, I didn't, I, I didn't own them at the time. I was making them for another company and that was it. And over the years, I kind of went back and reclaimed the rights because I didn't want somebody else just dumping them out or, you know, not doing something with them. And I held on to, you know, the masters and all that kind of stuff with the intention of maybe now, you know, about 17, 17 years ago, probably I did the bad movie police series where we basically five of the six movies, I, we were sort of ridiculing and, and making fun of. And, you know, this kind of extends that beyond, even beyond that, uh, because now we're treating them, essentially, all of them essentially with the same level of respect that we've treated Dead Next Door, Robot Ninja, Skin Alive, all this, you know, Ozone, all these things that we've restored and, and put back out on the Blu-ray. Are the Bad Movie Police extras carried over to these new editions? Of course, yeah. You, no, it's okay. got to be all, it's got to be all encompassing. You have the original commentary tracks, you have, uh, there's a, a new commentary track on the VHS version, and then you have brand new commentary tracks on the restored versions that was just recorded you know, with the, over the last few months. The, is the bad movie police footage that was in the, is that included as well? Yes. Yeah. You, the actual case file. Yeah. It's a, it's a separate piece now that the, on the three that, that, uh -huh. the, that included. Yes, of course. Yeah. That's incredible. That's it. This is what I'm talking about. The level We've left no stone unturned. I mean, literally I've raided the, the vaults essentially and just went through and said, Oh, what about this? What about this? What about this? And it, all, all the old stuff's on there. Plenty of new stuff is on there. Three of the movies, like I said, uh, Kingdom of the Vampire, Zombie Cop, and Maximum Impact have been completely restored. And I went even one step further and actually remixed the audio in 5.1 surround. So it'll be DTS. Wow. I know, which is ludicrous for these movies. And I'm not saying that it makes for a better experience, but it appeals to me personally. Yeah. You know, I feel like, okay, at least now they have been brought forward in, in time. The, the other three, unfortunately, I didn't have the elements to do it. But yeah. for those three, I wanted to give them the, you know, the best possible presentation, even the, though. The know. level of detail that you bring to these things, I'm telling you, nobody, I told you this in an email and I mean it, yeah, but yeah. nobody's <laughs> doing what you're doing. Like even the company, I'm not going to name them because it's not fair to, to compare. Like, the big companies that are putting out super duper special editions, they can't touch this. There's, they're nowhere close to it. So, well, I think we've reached the point where there's so much product out now, and 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 a lot of companies are just content to keep re-releasing the same, you know, stuff over and over again. Now it's being this stuff's being ported to 4K. You know, it's great if you love those movies, but you know, we're we're dealing with movies that maybe are, don't have such a uh, illustrious reputation. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to make sure that when they are put out that they're put out with as much love and care, despite whatever the, the movie may be, you know, robot ninja was a movie that was both beloved and maligned for decades, you know, and I, and I wanted to do it justice for me, you know, first and foremost. And then if it put it out there and if anybody else appreciates it, they can buy it, you know, they can have, they can own a copy of it and, and awesome. enjoy it the same way. So how can people buy it? How can they get a copy of this stuff? Uh, the well, the the, the six pack, or you mean yes, it? Yeah, the Any six pack will Make go on sale uh, midnight Friday it's on on uh, Black Friday. We've got a special, super special price of forty nine ninety nine, which is about half of what it would normally retail for. Um, the one thing I should probably clarify: these discs are all MOD. I know some people have an aversion to that, so I want to be very honest about it. The 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 packaging, everything else has been printed. 100%, you know, the way you would, everybody does it. The discs are MOD, but so is all of our stuff, most of the stuff this year with the exception of Skin Alive. And, and honestly, most of the stuff moving forward will be MOD. I know if you're into replicated discs, you probably want to move on, but uh, most of the people don't care. And they just, you know, the discs are, are still very high quality discs. The labels are very high quality. We have a, you know, warranty that if something happens with these discs and over the, in the next 10 years, you can get a replacement, no problem. So I'll say this too. I've seen um, just in my time on YouTube talking about this stuff. Um, the tide is turning. There are a lot of us who are very um, 
suspicious of manufactured on demand stuff. But as we continue to move forward in physical media and that mainstream interest becomes much more niche, this is necessary to support the creators that we care about. This is, this is how it will be moving forward. And it's just, um, I don't know if you even want to talk about why, but just, there are a lot of reasons. Well, practically. I mean, yeah. Th- and then I don't, I don't, I'm not knocking people who are purists about it. that sure, want, no, they, no. They want Replicated discs, but the bottom line is a disc is a disc. If it snaps in half, it doesn't matter how you made it, you know, whether it was glass mastered or not. All everything the the process of making these discs is exactly the same. The authoring is the same. You're putting the exact same care and attention into it. It, it literally is just: is it burned or is it, you know, you pay for it? Because when you pay for that glass master, when you do something that's replicated, it's a huge expense up front, and you have to make minimum at least a thousand discs, or, you know, or you can't even do it. So. Where with this, you know, that's the other thing I guess we should point out, this, this six pack, there's only gonna be 300 of these sets available. That's kind of a key thing. And, and that's something that, that MOD only makes possible. I couldn't do that if, it was, if these discs were replicated, it wouldn't happen in the first place. And it's still expensive. I mean, these, there's an expense for each of these discs. This is an expensive set for a small company like mine. Um, but the thing is, you know, you put the disc in and it's exactly the same. There's no quality difference on the disc. You know, visually, it's it's exactly the same, whether it's replicated. I know some people have fought that. No, 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 replicated discs are higher quality. No, they're not. It's all digital ones and zeros and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, we've, I kind of tread the, the, tested the waters this year with Reflections on the Living Dead, Ozone, some of this other stuff that I've put out to see if, you know, it will people accept this? Is this, a, you know, is this, and, and the majority of them don't care and don't, you know, they don't, even want to know they just want the stuff yeah you know they they think it's well packaged well produced um and all that kind of stuff so you know if you're a purist i understand move along there's other stuff on the store that's replicated and you know be happy to sell you that stuff instead but if you have an affinity for the vhs era this is going to be a hard set i think to pass up on especially given you know the extremely limited nature of it yeah, don't miss out on it. This has been done with so much love, and as you say, this is like this is this is the the this is the goodbye for these. This is I can't imagine. You know, maybe 8K in 20 years. Maybe we'll be, <laughs> we'll be back here talking about them again in 20 years. But well, there's um, been like tests of stuff where they've taken like old movies, you know, where they and they've, they've upscaled it, and people and people have sent me those links going, "You should do this with some of your stuff." And it's like, but the technology's not there yet. I mean, yeah. maybe one day, but I honestly I can't honestly imagine. I mean, I never would have in a million years thought any of this stuff. We've, and people ask me over the years, like, oh, you're going to do Ozone on Blu-ray? It's like, what's the point? Why? Yeah. But the point was not because it, it, the point was actually wound up being because you can cram a bunch of stuff onto that 25 gigabyte disc. Yeah. So there it becomes actually more of a value proposition. It's like, yes, you have the highest quality version of this standard definition content, but you also have tons of extra stuff. So that's what that was kind of when it clicked for me. I was like, okay, wait a minute, this does make sense to do this because, like, on Reflections of the Living Dead, you actually get a hundred and I think even more than a hundred minute roundtable, uh, the uncut roundtable footage. You know, you wouldn't have been able to do that on VA on DVD. That would have had to have been on spread onto two discs. You couldn't. It just you know lengthwise, it just you couldn't do it. Yeah. So that to me is the advantage of it. You're just getting, you know, these discs are will be packed with stuff. And you will, spend, you know, with six six movies like this in a in a box like this, you're gonna take the handle. You're gonna have your six pack of beer in the other hand, and you're gonna go home, and you got a week's worth of entertainment here easily. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> guys. Netflix it. is the place you don't want to miss out on this. Three hundred units when they're gone, they are gone. We'll be talking about it here after we have it on hand. But uh, plug away. Where can people keep in touch with you and everything you've got coming out? You're a busy man. I mean, Netflix is on. Uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I'm very easy to find. So, and, and I'm very responsive to people. I, I, we send out when people order something, they automatically get an, a little email from me thanking them for the order. And, and I can't tell you how many people have responded to that. And we're so overwhelmed that that person, little personal touch. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that, you know, Amazon doesn't care. You place an order with them. You're just one of billions of other people that are placing an order. You place an order with us, we care and we, We'll do everything. I mean, our customer service, we bend over backwards. If you have a, you know, dinged up slip cover, write me, I'll, I'll make it right. I'll send you another one. You know, if something goes wrong with your disc, I'll make it right. If the package is lost, same deal. It's like, 
I'm all about customer service. And just from years of going to conventions and things like that and having that kind of one-on-one -on -one with people, um, you know, I've, I've become friendly with so many people over the years, you know, that, that are, are, you know, dedicated customers that, that buy this stuff. So I, I really like that personal attention. I think that's important. It's great. And I've, I've, when I order from you, I do get the personal messages and it's just that, I mean, it's, it's that connection. It's everything you do at make flicks and even on your social media, it's a direct connection to you. It's a connection to the creator. And that means so much. That's the kind of stuff that we love. That's the kind of stuff that we want to support. So guys, in the description of this video, I'll put all the links. I'll put make flicks. I'll put the social media account so you can just scroll under and they'll, they'll all be there. JR, thank you so much for taking the time to, to talk about this. Thank you. This is this is great. I, I want to know on these new uh, these new Blu-rays if there's going to be. You don't have to tell me. I'm just wondering if we're going to get any new developments from Lance Randis. That's <laughs> able to dig up Lance Randis. Um, I don't know if there's any new developments from Lance Randis. Okay. There's some new interview footage. I think there's a on Maximum Impact. There's a uh, a new brand new. Uh, documentary called Minimum Impact, which is the joking, the title that we always used to call that movie, with new footage, new interview footage with Lance Randis. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, that's going to come go. back out of retirement, at least for, uh, for Holy that. cow. Wow. Scoop. Never, that's never the, that's the headline. Seen. That's yeah. never before seen. There you go. <laughs> wow. All right, JR, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, we appreciate you so very much. Take care. And until next time, we will catch you later.